Good day, viewers. My name is Mr. Kwan, studio is CEO CJ Afro Allied Global. Today, we are going to learn on mushroom cropping. First of all, because we all know that mushroom is a fungi, the environment where you are going to prepare your mushroom substrate for cropping must be well sterilized. We use ethanol, you can see ethanol, 96% to clean up the platform. This is my platform, my table, where I am going to prepare the mushroom substrate for cropping. Again, I have my razor, any sharp object, also sterilize it to avoid uh, contaminating the substrate bag. Again, take a look at what we call substrate bag. Substrate bag is a composition of sawdust, rice bran, and mycelium ins and spawn inside. That's what makes a substrate bag. This is where the mushroom will start growing out from when you handle it very well. It comes in different kgs. This is 2.55 kg. This 2.55 kg will give you 2.55 kg mushroom within six months. Now, as you are ready to start, you can see, take a look at the mushroom cap. It's covered with tissue, rubber band, and a ring. We are going to remove them. Good. I've just removed the rubber band. This is the tissue. The tissue helps to minimize moisture loss. The, the ring, this is ring. The ring helps to Hold it firm. Now we are uh, cropping now. First of all, you get your sharp objects. I use razor blade. You cut the nylon from the edge of the substrate bag. You can see what I'm doing. Cut it open. Just use uh, the, uh, use the sharp object that is well sterilized. Very, very important that it is well sterilized. Yeah, it's open now. You can see the colonized form of the substrate. The next thing you do again is to apply incision. You see what I'm doing? Opening it. This place I'm opening is where the mushroom will start growing out from. See the way I'm doing it. See the way I'm doing it. Depending where you are going to place it, if whether you are going to place it on the table, on the chair, or you are going to put, place it on a shelf, or you are going to hang it, it is also important that you make incision at the bottom of the substrate bag so that if there is excess water it will gush out from the environment very important depending your capacity of your farm it is also important that you do a tagging a tagging is numbering using figures to identify each of the substrate bag so that you'll be able to confirm each of the bag what quantity of mushroom is it producing once we put number zero zero one, we'll go to our record book and write zero zero one. If we place it on the table, on a chair, on a shelf, whichever one, and after some days, seven to fourteen days, and it starts fruiting, whatever you harvest from this one, you put it on a scale to know determine the weight of that one. Then you go to your record book and write it under the tagged number. By the time you keep doing this thing, at the end of a cropping, which is six months, if you sum it together, it's going to give you 2.55 kg. That is uh, because the substrate weight is 2.55 kg. Then when you finish tagging, the next thing is to apply water. This is our water. 
this water is common water, the pH must be minimum 6.5 pH. That is the acidity or alkalinity level of the water. The pH of this water must be 6.5 for you to get a good result. You can see this is bottled water. We are using it as an improvised. So um, the difference is that the cap is perforated so that it will form like shower while watering. So once you do that, you do what? You sprinkle water on it. You see the way I'm sprinkling water on it. Then the sides. Water enters through those in the incision area. Good. You are going to do this in the morning. You're also going to do it in the evening for three days. After which you suspend watering and wait for another seven days to 14 days. From the time you stop watering after three days to 14 days, you will notice that the mushroom will be growing out from the, the substrate. The mushroom can grow out from the top. It can as well grow out from the side on the areas that we made incision. From the third day, you can see the color. This color will start brightening up, becoming pure white. That shows that the fungi is really active and is growing and be sure that your mushroom will start coming out. Let us go to the other side, our lighting room, where we are going to crop it and see my own system. We are in a, our light room where we crop our mushroom. Take a look at what we have been doing before now. Now we want to start uh, a new one. This is what we just finished uh, watering. You can place it on the chair like this. While it's on the chair in your light room, it is important you take note that the light room must be 75 to 85% humidity level. It must also be 21 to 24 degrees centigrade, that's the temperature. With these two, you will achieve a maximum result while cropping in your uh, cropping room. So, while doing that, is, if, is it that you place it on the chair, on a table, in your room, anywhere that you have this atmospheric condition met, you can as well hang it just the way we hang these ones you can see this is still the same thing as this one you can as well hang it like this now i want to hang again see this is an attachment this is where this one ends i can as well continue and attach it like this you attach it here and hang it that is for hanging you can as well place it on a platform putting plank on the floor and you place it. The most important, you can as well, you can see, this is on top of my, this is, you can as well place it like this. At interval, but there must be plank so that it wouldn't fall out and, and scatter. So in anywhere you feel you have space, anywhere you feel you have space that you are not using, please utilize it and do mushroom farming. Mushroom farming is very, very easy. It's not time consuming and the input is very low. I call it waste to wealth because this substrate is made of sawdust and rice bran. These two items is a problem in Enugu State in Southeast. Go to any timber where they are sawing wood, you will see that this thing is a problem there. So take, take the best part of it and produce on your own. Come to CJ Agro Ally Global, come to our farm, come and learn how to produce substrate. You will pay. This one is not free. You will pay and will teach you how to produce substrate.
so that you can start producing for yourself, you can start producing to sell. 